make it out of me that and I didn't finish packing and I look like I haven't showered in like weeks but I just showered yesterday <sighs> I'm having trouble absolutely feral <laughs> that's my problem it's always the shoes like <sighs> but I really I, I cut it down believe me or not I cut it down um, but it's like six weeks so but anyways I'm trying to finish packing right now because I still gotta go to the store I'm kind of done I'm not freaking out yet I'm, I'm almost closing it I forget to pack my pepper spray and my taser I'm on my way I'm excited I feel like it hasn't like really 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 hit me um, because I'm not there yet you know but I'm excited <laughs> That's the what is What is Okay. Bro, I really had to come and get the other thing because my thing was too heavy. So I had to come and get my mom's bag so I can take out more stuff even though I already took out more stuff I am literally the worst packer because not only do I wait last minute but also I overpack and I end up using like half of that stuff but it's better late than wait it's better safe than sorry you know you never know if I might just develop a new style worst comes to worst I'll just buy clothes over there look at my freaking bangs so I was sweating and it got all wavier Right now, probably after I check my luggage, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and fix myself because you never know if I'm gonna meet the love of my life here at the airport. I also changed my tennis shoes with my boots because my mom said my boots were heavier. So here I am. Alright, it's myself now. Goodbye! Finally made it. It was such a long wait. But yeah, it doesn't feel unorganized Ahí va mi maleta, ahí va, ahí va Me tenemos que subir a escalera Like, it just looked like a bunch of people just waiting for their people. Yeah. I pulled my hair out because it was freaking, I was freaking sweaty again. And not since I was wearing like two sweaters and then the freaking and then the jacket because that stuff didn't fit. I'm gonna get something to drink because I'm freaking thirsty. And stupid me, I, I said, oh, can I have a gun? Um, me das un venti water? Wait, no ames. Muy gringa ahora. Also, do you guys hear that? The plane bag burning. Do you guys hear that? To be honest, it was like hitting me a little bit after I left my mom, you know? Because then I was gonna be by myself. But... I don't know, it still like doesn't hit me. Maybe because like I'm in Guadalajara. Maybe once I get to Culiacan, it'll like completely hit me. One eternity later. Bro, I'm so tired. My look at my eyes, they're starting to get red. My contacts are like bothering me already because I already changed them out. <laughs> About two and a half more hours to board. And Sunday, like, I fell asleep for like four hours. I don't want to fall asleep um, because I'm scared I'm going to miss my flight. <laughs> Thank you.
Anyways, I see you alive. After brushing my teeth and putting a little bit of makeup and doing my eyebrows a little bit, I'm a whole different person. Even though I have to wear my mask, but still. Let me tell y'all something real quick. This freaking hole in front of me. I'm trying to start big. She wouldn't even let me go. I don't even know why. I'm like, help, do you not have a mother freaking seat or what? Like, I was standing by the thing. She literally like swerved me. So I'm and then she looked down and she was like, let me show you this little hole. Oh, it's nice. Bueno, esa señora está ahí. The girl in front of me. I'm like, you're, I'm not about to fight someone here. I mean, I'm struggling to breathe. But I made it! I'm actually like four hours. Let me catch my breath. All right, looking like a girly that I used to play basketball in high school, but I made it. And it's actually four hours than what they told me, but I got here hoping that they will um, let me stay early. I mean, that they will let me check in early, and they did, so yay. And I was just planning to come and leave my maletas and then like go somewhere else, you know? But I'm here. I feel I felt so bad for the guy because obviously my maleta is freaking heavy and like he, there's no elevators because like it's like it's just a few stairs, right? But he was like carried it and he like almost fell. He's like, oh, this is heavy, and I was like, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I feel bad, and then he like it left so fast that I didn't even give him a tip. Those are houses. Those are nice. Uh, let me show you guys around. I'm kind of like talking low because I feel like it's very... What is the term? That you can hear everything. It's not soundproof. So I hope I don't get no dirty neighbors. But I got one with two beds because that was the only thing available. But the room is really small. I don't need a big room. So... You can see, those are the two beds. Here is a microwave, little fridge, vanity, um, extra chair. Do you guys hear the bathroom part? And then the toilet. How do I turn on the lights? The toilet and the shower. A pretty cute little modern room. I oh, think goodness I have a hair dryer because I didn't bring one. But yeah, and this is the view outside. It's those houses. Those houses are nice. And then there's over there. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. I don't want to sit down because the beds are made so nicely and they're so clean but I don't want to take a shower right now I just want to like rest but I have to I can lay down for a minute and then I'm gonna go to my nail appointment that my cousin recommended because he goes there so he ooh, so he made an appointment for me too so yeah okay first fit nothing special something casual I really need to find a strainer so I can straighten my hair, curl my hair, and blanch out of my clothes. But anyways, my Uber is almost here. See you guys. All right, so the Uber didn't know and then she was like, she asked me where it was and I was like, girl, I don't know either. It's my first time coming. So, I'm a little lost. Look at my freaking nails. How cute. I don't know what my hand looks like, old lady but my freaking nails she charged me 400 420 i think pesos i was like girl i saw i saw the panaderia and it looks so cute and good so i got some empanadas de cajeta and if you know you know that i make them so Cerquitas, miren donde voy, miren donde voy. La, o sea, 
La calle es la calle donde estoy caminando. Ay. Y aquí la gente es muy loca para manejar. I want to try these empanadas to see if what I'm missing, you know? Which I doubt anything because mine are delicious. Okay, voy pasando el puente. I came to this store called Word Wordlot. Wordlot? Wordlot? I don't know. But I think I used to come here when I was little. I honestly can't remember, but I can't remember the inside, but when I was walking through the hallway, I think that's when I was remembering where it gave me flashbacks. But I just came to get some essentials that I have forgotten, like lotion and some soap, um, and then some makeup wipes, because I totally forgot everything, face wash. Well, not everything face wash, but actually I didn't have face wash, <laughs> why am I lying? I just usually do it with soap, but I forgot that soap, so I had to come and buy another one. After this, then I'm gonna get back to the hotel, and then that's when I go and meet my dad. And surprise him. Everywhere I go, it's literally like a part. It's literally like a party. I am literally living my best tourist life. Yum. I just got this lemon ice cream for like, how much did you charge me? 20. 20. Take a sharp right turn on Avenida Alvaro Obregón. Then in a quarter mile, take a slight left turn on Avenida Alvaro. Uh, I think I was just too distracted because I got lost or I don't know how to read it. So now I, after driving away, after getting further and further, um, I was only 20, no, I was 30, 32 minutes away walking from my hotel. So I was just gonna take it, enjoy the view. And then I kept getting further and further, and then it bumped up to 44. So I was like, that's way too far. So I just ordered an Uber and it should be here in like a few minutes. But I was like, damn, I feel defeated, not gonna lie. I made it, I made it back to my hotel. The guy was super nice. Well, actually all my Ubers have been really nice. Well, not really. Buenas tardes. I'm just gonna put my stuff inside and go to the bathroom, bring some water, and then go meet my dad. El regalo soy yo! Soy la almita! Alright, vampirito, so my dad just had a taco because he just ate. And this agua de Jamaica is bomb! So when I was little, when I was little, we used to come to Malay, and I'm here again, but this one's called Express, so I think it's like an upgraded version. 